Good evening, Katie Munn here with your Monday musings. It's Monday evening and I didn't post a video earlier today because I didn't quite know what I wanted my topic to be. Nothing was really resonating with me. Um, and I just had a meeting with a colleague and I was like, all right, I know what I'm going to talk about. So today on Monday musings, we're going to be talking about disconnecting and taking time for yourself, especially during the winter months. So in our society, we are on the go all the time. And in traditional societies, the winter was time to reflect, to rejuvenate, to rest, to sort of go inward and reflect. So when spring came, you could sort of take all of that gestation, all of that um, introspection and bring it out into the world. So we're going to talk about how really honoring the seasonal rhythms within yourself can make a difference on how you are able to show up in the world. So I was thinking about this topic actually in regards to social media right now. If you're on Instagram, you'll see I haven't posted anything in a week. I haven't really felt a call to social media. I felt very inward. I felt like um, I just want to hibernate. And it's so interesting, you know, friends that are maybe in a part of their life where they can't go out because they have children or whatnot. They're like, why are you going out every weekend? Like you're young, you're single, you should be like doing all these things. And I've been really introverted. And I would say I lean towards more extrovert, um, sometimes introverted, but I've been super introverted where it's like Saturday night and I'm like, okay, it's nine o'clock, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> or like even on the weeknights, normally I'm going to a class, I'm going to, you know, um, certain events within the community and the last month basically since a new year I'm just like you know the sun's gone down I want to rest I want to reflect um you know I've been journaling yesterday I started a book I took a nap and so I've really really been inward and it's felt really really good and you know we have to think about as humans we ebb and flow and we are um very influenced by the seasonal rhythms and it's okay to take time to yourself it's okay to go inward it's okay to reflect and a lot of times in our culture it's seen as almost a bad thing i'm just throwing this little his ball here <laughs> it seems like it's a bad thing like if you if you're not out and you're not you know texting people and on you know facebook and instagram and doing things go 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 all the time that you're something's wrong with you like oh are they depressed they're not on social media anymore oh are they depressed they're not like hanging out on the weekend they're not going to concerts they normally do that or they're not you know just going out for happy hour and like what's wrong with them and I'm here to tell you that there's nothing wrong with that if you need to take a month or two to disconnect from the world to disconnect from situations to disconnect from people to get back in touch with yourself then you need to honor that. That's super important. And this last month, I've been really honoring that. And it's really interesting. I woke up this morning and I felt like, okay, I feel like I'm ready to reemerge. I'm ready to enter the world a little bit and, you know, maybe get out there, maybe on a Saturday night go out and about. Um, but having, I'm, I feel very grateful having taken that time and really been able to rest and rejuvenate and honor myself and honor, you know, the seasonal rhythms. So if you're feeling, no matter what time of year it is, if you're feeling like you need to disconnect, whether that be from a person, whether that be from social media or, you know, um, just, you know, engaging in the world, you just want to hibernate with a book and a cup of tea, welcome that, embrace that, know that nothing's wrong with you, know that it's a seasonal rhythm or just an internal rhythm, you know, that you're sort of gestating. So then your next appearance in the world is going to be really powerful and really meaningful. So a lot of changes are happening astrologically. A lot of changes are happening in the world. And the kindest thing you can do for yourself is take that time out. What I've noticed that has been really helpful for me is I've stopped checking the news the other day on NPR. I was listening to a story and they're like, you know, the next part is really, really graphic. If you have children in the room, you know, you want to turn the, the radio off because this will be um, too much for them. And I was like, I'm turning the radio off. <laughs> like, I'm not a kid, but I don't, you know, I don't need to subject myself to that. And there are things, you know, all the time in the media that are just talking about, you know, what do I want to say? Things that are just 
sad and depressing and overwhelming. And if you're in a constant state of overwhelming and being overwhelmed, that's not going to serve anyone. So, you know, taking your time maybe away from the news, maybe taking your time away from Facebook. You know, a lot of people are posting political things. A lot of people are posting um, stories that may just be overwhelming to you. So if you need to take a break, you're allowed to. Taking a break from friends, social settings, maybe the bar scene, if that's something you do, just taking a break. So this week, I want you to just sort of observe where you are in life and how you're feeling. And if you're in a sort of a go, go, go mode, that's beautiful and that's lovely. But if you're in a mode where you feel like you maybe need to disconnect for a little bit, especially, you know, we're here in Maine in wintertime, it's cold. I 100% support you and urge you to cuddle up with a book, maybe a loved one, maybe a little pet and enjoy yourself. All right. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.